It's been 30 years in the making. French surgeon Alain Carpentier was already world-renowned for his work on heart valve repairs. But he set his sights on creating an entirely artificial heart that could take over the job of pumping blood. He developed special membranes and biomaterials. He even worked with an Airbus subsidiary to design sensors to self-regulate blood flow. Now his company, Carmat, has gained approval from the European Commission to begin commercial sales. It's an important phase, just like for all companies that have launched health projects. You first have the clinical phase, during which you try to show that your concept works. And that's what we have done. Now it's a new chapter for Karmat. Sales of the battery-powered device are expected to begin in the second quarter of this year. The plan is to initially manufacture 10 per month. But given the chronic shortage of organ donors, there's likely to be greater demand. The company estimates there are 100,000 people in need of heart transplants in the US and Europe. Each device costs around $181,000, creating a market potentially worth more than $18 billion. Efforts have begun in the US to get regulatory approval by 2024. It is really translated in clinical results, and we don't think there will be any thrombosis or other phenomena that are often observed in other forms of treatment. Since human trials began in 2013, several patients have died after being fitted with Karmat's artificial heart. But the company insists its product didn't necessarily cause the deaths. The current model has also been fine-tuned to lower risks. And while the prosthetic hasn't been approved as a permanent implant, it is designed to last up to five years. That's about 170 million extra heartbeats. For patients facing terminal illness, each beat is a chance to get out of the hospital, live their lives, and hopefully find a bridge back to health. Miranda Lynn, TRT World.